Guided Tour of Norath. Starring me, the Angry Ice Cube. Well, I'm not really in my Angry Ice Cube persona right now because I am Roas, the ultimate troubadour. We're just uh, waiting for it to add characters to the zones, what we're doing here. Anyways, this is the uh, lovely game, EverQuest 2, by Sony. Oh, I'm sorry, by Daybreak Studios. And I am your host, Roas Dalen Barre. That's me right there, see? Yeah. There I am here. Let me wave. What's up? What's up? I hate the half elf voices. Oh, whoops. Okay, anyways, we're doing a guided tour here. In honor of my old friend Catapult, who passed away a while back, and well, ever since she did, our group hasn't really been playing because it's just hard to get into it without feeling the loss, you know? Anyhow. I decided to make this uh, series while I was talking to a guy from the Dark Souls community, oddly enough, who had a similar situation happen to him. So we'll start with the Guild Hall. This is the Argent Star. That's my guild. I am the guild leader. And this is our Guild Hall. It's a Tier 3 Guild Hall off the, the coast of Antonica. Let's see here. This is... I don't really know what these rooms are. I just kind of name them on a whim as I play. But uh, I guess you could kind of call this the Hall of Crafters. See, I got a little crafting set here. It's my, my scribing and my tailoring and my jewelry making. And here's a forge. Notice there's quenching water. They don't have quenching barrels, so I just kind of had to do what I could. So quenching water and a thing here, another thing there. And some, some weapons there, you know, make it look kind of forgy. And <laughs> it's a forgery. Ha <laughs> ha! And here we go, the cooking area. You can see that there's cooking stuff here. You got some spoons on the wall. We got a, uh, what is that? A thing of fish. And we got a pot of something. Forgive the ice. It's the after effect of my armor. I don't know if there's a way to turn it off, but I've never found a way, so yeah. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we got some meat down there. We got wedding cake. We got some gumdrops because you never know when you want to make some gumdrops. We even got some dead rats and eyeballs. Sometimes I want to make food for goblins. Leave me alone. Don't judge me. Got some punch. Oh, look at all this delicious food that I stole from an airship. More about that later. And we have our little gingerbread bin. This guy will shank you if you try to take a cookie without his permission. And this guy will probably haunt your dreams. He haunts mine. Got some little some kegs and stuff in case you want to make some alcoholic beverages. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Over here we got a woodworking table. There's really not a lot I can do with a woodworking table. And here's our alchemy set. Hooray, alchemy. That's where I make potions. And then we have a treasure hoard. This is obviously the vault area. Yeah, banker. Commodities exporter. Also known as sell your crap here fuel merchant, rush orders for crafting, and gatherers who can gather stuff. You know what? I should probably, while I'm at it, take that off their hands. And send them out to get some more stuff. Let's send them out for some... Uh, sure, level 100 sounds great. Why not? Goes my mouse again, my mouse and its lovely mouse shenanigans. It's an optic mouse, and every now and then, I guess the wood grain makes it jump. Jump it does. So here we go. One last look around here. Lovely, beautiful little guild hall. Oh, look at that reminder! You can subscribe. Yes, I could subscribe, but I'm not going to right now. So shut up. And here is the hall of achievements. Namely, my achievements. These are my mythical weapons that I've gotten for various characters. See, we got we got a big club. We got a big snot club. I mentioned that in one of my Dark Souls videos. Here's a f awesome sword of awesomeness because only awesome characters can use it. And then we have a little staff and another little staff. Sorry about that. I kind of bumped the microphone with my chin. And then we have the dumbest 
of them. Well, the second dumbest of them all. I, I put Snot Club up as dumbest. No, I take that back. This is the second dumbest. This is the third dumbest. I mean, really, it's a rotating sword. That does not scream swashbuckler to me. That screams fucking retard. But, yeah, anyways. Here's a paladin sword. Look how it's bathed in holy flames. Yeah, righteousness. And then here's my, yes, Rois, my lovely axe. Kind of makes me think of a guitar, so you'll, you'll notice that I'm actually wielding it down here. Well, if you can see it, UI gets in the way, but it's there. And then last but not least, we have this lovely little punch dagger. Okay, that's enough of that. So let's get on with it. We're outside. Let's take a quick look up in the air. Yes, I have wings on my back. I can fly because I'm awesome. Not just anyone can fly. You have to be awesome first. All right, this is the guild hall from the outside. Look at it. Bathe in its glorious splendor. Look at that thing. It's pretty nice. Got some big golem guards standing down there because why not? I decorated this. I'm not a decorator. There are people on here who can decorate like it's going out of style. I am not one of them. My idea of decorating is throw all your shit on the floor until you can't see the floor anymore and call it good. Besides, here's the real decorations right here. Look at this guy. Drack Lich, looks at my goblins. Oh, hey, see, he hear that affectionate little purr? He missed me. It's been a while. Here are our guild trophies. Clockwork Dragon, Vampiric Dragon, the Marijuana Dragon. I mean, seriously, look at this guy. I'm going to go first person here. Take a look at that guy. Tell me that guy's not stoned off his ass. Yeah, growth dragon my ass. We know what he's been growing. Here we have a demented ostrich dragon. Okay, she's a frost dragon, but seriously, she looks like a demented ostrich. And then we got Trachanon, who is just the dopiest dragon. I'd be a bad guy, too, if I look like that. And then we have Darthar. He looks pretty cool. I like Darthar. He's an asshole, but I still like the way he looks. He's a sexy dragon, and he knows it. Over here, we have Terranax the Destroyer, or in this case, the Destroyed, because I kind of annihilated his face. And then we got Vinicor. He is an even bigger asshole than Darathar, but his final form is pretty sexy. Lord Vim. Um, yeah, if there were a clan of dragons who specialized in having anvils dropped on their heads from great heights, he would be in it. Wow, does he look stupid. I feel so sorry for him. And then, yeah, Mayong's Coffin. Well, not near as excited as all these other heads. Here we have the Jin Master. He's an asshole, too. And then we have Cheldrak and his head. Doesn't really look like a head to me. It looks like a shell, but whatever. Hey, look, it's the God King Anuk. He's pretty cool. It's kind of a letdown. It was very sad when I fought him. Ah, Venral Sathir. He's another asshole. A heavy price comes with wasting his time. Aiden. He's a... I, uh, I don't really know what type of dragon he is. He's kind of like a elemental void dragon, I guess. Oh, that's probably what he is, a corrupted elemental dragon. And then, of course, we have the Levi uh, Leviathan's tentacle. Leviathan. Um, yeah. Last but not least, we have these two sexy mofos. We have Enoxus, the Cloud Cleaver, and Atioch, the Spirit Reaver. Put them together, and you get... The Swords of Destiny, which you may have noticed I left one of the Hall of Achievements out. It's because I had the Kinos Claymore and Soulfire, and if you put them together, there you go. Swords of Destiny. That's actually an Oxus and Atioch right there. Anyhow, so that's pretty much it for the Guild Hall. There's some other stuff lying around. You'll see it on the way out. Like, for example, these trees, and here's my little altar of love. Yeah! Altar of love, baby! Check it out! We got, like, rose petals and glowy stuff and pomegranates. If if Chi were here, there would be some serious pomegranates being rained down upon her. If you don't know, Chi's a friend of mine on here, and I love harassing her about pomegranates. You know, it also just occurred to me that if she ever watches this video, she's going to be in for the shock of her life because I don't think she knows that I'm a guy. I'm one of those people, I play multiple characters. I have girls, I have boys. It all depends on the character that I am creating in my mind. 
if, for example, I want to make a, a tiny fairy princess shadow knight, that's what I will make. She will obviously be a girl because you can't be a fairy princess if you're not a princess. On the other hand, if I want to have a big, burly, half draconic, badass priest, well, I'll do that too. And we got this, this area is kind of like the, not really the hall, maybe the, the, the lawn of transportation. These are various forms of transportation that can take you throughout the, the realm. And this one takes you to player housing. Yay! Got all these wonderful things, but that's not important. What is important is we're going to start the, the real tour now. We're going to go to, and well, no, we're going to go to Kinos, the city of good or something. And we'll have some of our delicious sponsor for today's video, Arizona Green Tea with Ginseng and Honey. Mmm. That was actually a pretty fast load. Yay. Delicious tea. They didn't actually sponsor this, but I just want to say that. Hey, look, we have some players here. Okay, one player and a mercenary. And they just use one of these bells to go somewhere. Well, that's a bell, this is a globe. It used to be a bell, but now it's a globe. Anyways, this is Kino's Harbor. Bet you can't tell why they call it Kino's Harbor. And it's one of the four sections of Kino's. Well, one of the main four sections of Kino's. There are more. Over here you have some, some chronomancers if you want to lower your level and go do stuff. Used to do a lot of that with Cat. City merchants for buying stuff. And, of course, we have wonderful, wonderful residents who stand around and pretend like they're they're somehow important. Here's a player talking to the broker. The broker's where you can buy stuff that other people have listed for sale, in case you didn't know. Hey, look, it's a Karen. Yes, yeah, a Karen. Catapult was a Karen. Like I said, she's gone now, but not forgotten. She was part of, not part of my guild, part of my group. I, I had a, a group of people that I play with, uh, kind of like a... I guess you could call it a, an alliance of guilds, maybe. Not not really that strong, but we did stuff together. By ourselves, we were not big enough, geared enough, skilled enough, or whatever enough to run in-game content, but together we could sure as hell put up one hefty attempt. And more often than not, we pulled it off. There were some roadblocks, <coughs> Vinicor, <coughs> and um, someday I will get my revenge. But it's kind of hard to do that when you know you're one of your 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 biggest uh, partners. Oh no, there's been a murder. There have been two murders. What could be the meaning of this? Oh dear, dear. Yes, I believe we have a potential suspect. Let's inspect. Defiler. All right, I know who the killer is. It was you! But do we care? No, of course we don't care. They'll respawn. They'll be fine. They're just going to go hollow. Like I'm worried about it. Anyways, this is the banker section of the harbor. See, one banker there. Another banker right there. A banker right there. But no banker right there for some reason. wonder why. And this is the Clock of Akanon. It's the, the gnome city that they were forced to abandon during the Cataclysm. It's now been taken over by the Clockworks. Ooh, scary. Over here we have a um, arena thingy for some purpose. Battlegrounds, I believe. I don't remember. It's been a while since I've done any PvP. But enough of that. Let's move on to the next section. This is the provincial district of, of Kinos. It consists of two areas, the harbor and the Eldar Grove, which is where we're going right now through this tunnel. The Eldar Grove is a lovely, lovely grove of trees. Yeah, very pretty. Unfortunately, I can't use my wings in Kinos or I'd give you a nice sky view, but this is where the uh, Tenarian Alliance makes their, their headquarters. It's in this big tree thing right here. I just discover, discovered Arbos, the Elder Tree. How did I just discover it? When I've discovered it many times in the past, they occasionally reset the discovery locations. Hey, game 50 experience points. 
so that's something. How much do I need for the next level? Oh, just under a million, so, you know, I just have to discover this a few gazillion more times and I'll be fine. Anyways, this is the, um, basically the Scout Guild, the NPC Scout Guild. There they are. Scenario Alliance, Merchant, they sell stuff. All right, that's f cool. Hey, you know what? You only live once. Ha! I landed softly and avoided hurting myself. So, yeah, this is the Elder Grove. This is where the scouts hang out. Hey, look, it's Queen Antonia. Or rather, a statue of her. Sometimes she'll start talking to you, but apparently we are not blessed. All right, so now we're going to go over to the Capital District. Remember, this was the Provincial District. Now we're going to the Capital District, which consists of South Kinos and North Kinos. North Kinos is where you find the castle, where the queen is in residence. And South Kinos is where you find, um, I don't know, the Mages Guild. The Priests and the Fighters Guild are, are here. Here's the Priest Guild right here. Temple of Life. Behold, the Temple of Life. Look at that. That's where the priests hang out. We've got some merchants over here and stuff. Iron Forge, yeah, Iron Forge Exchange is over here. Or actually, that's their, their mansion. The exchange itself is just up ahead. But they're like the um, Crafters Guild. And let's see, any other exciting things in here? That looks like merchants. There's, yeah, here's the exchange right here. All the crafters are inside. They didn't do a very good job of setting up their crafting booths. I'm not going to toot my own horn, but at least I put, you know, like a, a quenching barrel-esque piece of furniture down next to my forge. Once again, I mentioned that in, in my Dark Souls playthrough that I, I was trying to take a blacksmithing course in college, although they canceled it the year I finally got in. But I still know a little bit about blacksmithing, enough to know that you don't just take a hammer and beat a sword blade. It doesn't work that way. Anyways, there's like the inn and stuff. You can get some, some apartments there and great stuff like that. And the Mages Guild is just down here. I'm not going to go to all the districts because most of them are closed off unless you're on quests now. They used to have, um, I guess you can call them uh, suburbs, based on your race or species, as the case may be. But yeah, here's the Mages Guild. Three teleporters. Each one takes you to a different section. Uh, yellow. Well, let's go to red. Red's good. Red's a good one. Sometimes. Hello, Red. Yeah, Red, we're just waiting. Thank you. This is the library. Hey, check it out. It's Enki from the Twelve Kingdoms. Oh, wait. I turned voices off. Never mind. It's not Enki from the Twelve Kingdoms. It's totally silent. Anyways, yeah, that's that's that. So let me go get to a bell. Wrong direction, smarty. Once we get to the bell, well, we'll just um, start up the next segment of our of our little saga here. Like I said, I'm Rois De Lombari, your, your host for the Tour of Norath. And I will see you next time, which will actually be in just a few short minutes. Goodbye. Bye to you too, buddy. Peace out, all.